Good morning. Good morning. Gee, it's great to start your day with coffee with karma today. Today's episode is especially for CEOs and founders. I'm going to be talking about the five reasons that a memoir is your best marketing asset and will attract clients to your company. My name is Karma Spence and I help executive coaches, business leaders, and consultants write, market, and publish their client attracting book so that they can grow their businesses. And this week I'm talking about memoirs. Now, why is a memoir so perfect for CEOs and founders? If you are the CEO or founder of a smaller company, it can set you apart and really make your business stand out among other businesses like yours. So reason number one, your memoir provides a blueprint for leadership. It showcases your story, your leadership decisions, your successes, even your failures, and basically illustrates how you got to where you are and can inspire the people who work for you to go, gee, I really like the way this guy, this guy or woman thinks, and I want to be a part of this company. And it inspires your clients to say the same thing, only instead of wanting to work for you, they want to buy from you. <laughs> Reason number two, a memoir can build authority through transparency. By sharing both your ups and your downs, you are being transparent and authentic. But you don't just say, okay, this part of my life sucked. <laughs> no, you say, I had this dip. This, this failure, this, this less than happy out thing that happened. And here's what I learned from it. Always, whenever you share a failure, always share the lesson that you learned that help you have future successes. Number three, illustrate the bigger vision behind your success. A memoir is a great way to showcase, I had this big vision. And I went for this big vision and here's how I did it. Because let me take a step back for just a moment. The difference between a biography or autobiography and a memoir. A biography or autobiography is basically a chronological telling of someone's entire life. That's a biography. It's not that it can't include stories, but it's a little bit more factual, a little bit more straightforward. A memoir is narrative nonfiction. And it focuses in on a specific time period or theme within someone's life. It does not tell the whole story. So it becomes ideal for showcasing your vision and how you came to develop that vision and go for that vision and achieve that vision. Number four, a memoir turns your experience into a playbook for success. So as you're writing your memoir, you can be saying, you could, it depends on how you're doing it, but let's say you developed your framework and you're doing a memoir that base, that is about how you created and implemented that framework. Your memoir now becomes a playbook for going through that framework. And number five, a memoir can be a long term marketing asset. In fact, it, and I do touch on this in, I believe it's next week's Author Switch podcast when I interviewed uh, Lowell Mora, who is a financial expert. Um, and basically, if, if the memoir is done well, it can become a marketing asset for the business. So even if you retire, the memoir can still be used by the business as here's the story of our founder. I'm pretty sure Sam Walton is no longer in, involved day to day in Walmart, but you know what? His memoir, his biographies, they all still help sell the Walmart name. So this can do the same thing for you and your business. So there you go. Five reasons that a memoir can be a fantastic marketing asset for CEOs and founders. This is Karma Spence saying, ciao for now.